Thanks for making it to Veterans Info Tap. I'm glad you made it. Wanted to share with you an article that I read today, June 21st, regarding some new legislation, a new bill that's been introduced. And um, I think that this is something that could potentially be a really good thing. So wanted to read through it, get your guys' thoughts on it. And again, like anything when it comes to introduced bills, legislation, uh, within whether it's state or federal, uh, if it's something you support, you should absolutely reach out to your elected officials and let them know that you support it. I would also add on to that, reaching out to your local posts, uh, whether it's the American Legion, VFW, you know, TREA, Paralyzed Veterans, you know, the list goes on, right? So reach out to those organizations and well as well and make sure that they're supporting them at the uh, local level as well. We can't, we can't just rely on on national lobbying efforts um, to get things through, in my opinion. Anyway, let's jump into it. So the uh, headline here is Peters, who is, uh, looks like he's a senator. So uh, Peters introduces bill to help some veterans with wrong dishonorable discharge. So let's see what he means by wrong dishonorable discharge. So US Senator Gary Peters introduced bipartisan legislation to build on his Fairness for Veterans law, which helps veterans who may have been erroneously given a less than honorable discharge from the military due to negative behavior resulting from mental traumas. So I'm gonna stop right there. So look, you did fine in your military service. Everything was great. Maybe you, you know, you were progressing, you got promoted, everything was looking good. You went to combat, maybe saw some things, you have some PTSD that you didn't know about, come back, maybe you started um, drinking a little more, maybe some of the behaviors weren't uh, in line with what you were before, uh, and consequently you end up getting a, a less than honorable discharge um, due to those behaviors, and it wasn't until after the fact that you realized that you had PTSD and now you know you're working with it through the VA and so on. So that's a really crappy situation to be in because you know the military needs to do a better job at identifying PTSD within its ranks and helping to work with that. Um, so let's jump back into it. So that's what they're looking at. So veterans looking to upgrade their service discharge status can petition to a discharge review board operated by each military service. And I will tell you over the last, I don't know, five years or so, um, this has been um, more of a focal point uh, for, for all the branches. In 2016, Peter's bipartisan provision was signed into law requiring that discharge review boards give fair consideration to veterans petitioning to change their discharge status to honorable, to honorable. If the service member has been diagnosed with post-traumatic stress disorder, uh, traumatic brain injury, military sexual trauma, or other conditions connected to their military service. Peter's Discharge Review Board Accountability Act, which he introduced with Senators Mike Rounds and, and Tom Tillis uh, and Angus King, would help improve review board compliance with Peter's Fairness for Veterans Act and several other existing Department of Defense memoranda by directing the Government Accountability Office to study and report recommendations back to Congress on how to ensure fair consideration is implemented. Uh, here, we're moving on to a quote here. So there's a quote. Uh, it says, I authored and passed the Fairness for Veterans Act into law to give our brave men and women who are suffering from the invisible wounds of war an opportunity to access the VA benefits they've earned through their service, said Senator Peters, a member of the Senate Armed Services Committee and former lieutenant commander in the U.S. Navy Reserve. There are more steps we can take to help make sure our veterans and service members receive fair consideration when petitioning for upgrades to their discharge status. My bipartisan bill aims to hold these review boards accountable to provide recommendations to Congress to help ensure veterans can get a second chance at receiving the care they deserve. 
The VFW deeply cares about and is heavily invested in making sure veterans get the care and benefits they have earned through their service, said Britton Diamond. Associate Director, VFW, National Security and Foreign Affairs Directorate. However, veterans' eligibility for a uh, myriad for myriad resources uh, is directly impacted by their discharge characteri- characterization, making access for some veterans challenging or impossible. Especially troubling are those who are discharge character was uh, predicted on behavior stemming from injuries incurred during service, such as traumatic brain injury or post-traumatic stress disorder. Agreed. Uh, who have been uh, barred from uh, earned benefits and must now struggle to secure discharge upgrades according to the statute and related policies. We are grateful for Senator Peters, Rounds King, and Tillis for their support of this critical issue and look forward to working together to ensure the Discharge Review Board Accountability Act passes. The Government Accountability Office study required by Peters Discharge Review Board Accountability Act would include and they got four bullets here, assessment of the Discharge Review Board's compliance with Peter's Fairness for Veterans provision, data on the percentage of cases considered by Discharge Review Boards that reference Armed Forces policy require fair consideration or means or or the memos discussing it, barriers that appear to prevent Discharge Review Boards from employing fair consideration, and recommendations for reform that would improve Discharge Review Board's implementation of the Peters Fairness for Veterans provision. And with that, uh, that go ahead, that will go ahead and conclude it, but uh, of that article. I did want to kind of chime in, and there's two different ways that a veteran can access VA specifically benefits. If they have a character of discharge that is not applicable for benefits. Okay, so one is you can go back to your branch of service, which that's what this is talking about, and work on a discharge upgrade It's a process. The other is you can also work with the VA and have a VA upgrade of your discharge for VA purposes only. So there's kind of two different avenues that you can, you can do. Um, in some cases, it might be faster to go through the VA if you're just trying to get your VA stuff squared away. And then on the backside, try to do it through the DOD, um, kind of, you know, a two-in-one uh, situation. Uh, I will say, too, that, you know, for those that don't know, uh, it's a process. And once it's completed, then that opens up so many doors uh, for you. So if you do or you know somebody who has a less than desirable discharge that's unable to obtain VA benefits, get them with an accredited uh, representative, you know, VSO or what have you. So that way they can show them the different avenues to help them get the benefits that they deserve. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate you. And remember, if we don't take care of each other, something went wrong.